All right, we just checked into the uh, the new Airbnb. Um, it's in the um, Boston area. Don't ask me why that's called Boston or <laughs> why they named that. I don't know. But uh, here's the fridge. Looking all right. Counter. Nice counter space. A sofa bed type thing with some questionable stains. Very questionable stains. Probably won't sleep there. <laughs> Uh, and of course the bathroom. Let's see the light. Where's the light? The f the light. Is there no light in here? I see a light. There's a light up there. So where's the switch? Am I just blind? Oh, it's here. Hidden between the towels. Okay, so. Not too bad, it's uh, yeah, I mean it's clean, it's clean. Okay, this is interesting. Why did they do that? Why did they put electrical outlets? Here is the master bedroom, luxurious of course. Some nice moving blanket. Um, Bed, bed linens here, you gotta love it, you know. Huh, looks like we got some black mold. It's always good, keeps the immune system strong. And uh, yeah, here's the view. Hmm. Oh, hold on a second, what is this? What the freak? Oh my god. Hmm, do I have some some peep show Airbnb hosts here or what? Okay, that's a little weird, but I think it should stay. So I just started running from my Airbnb, no direction, just pretty much tried to stay going uphill and uh, yeah, ended up in some random neighborhood. So uh, we're just going to walk through and see what we can find. What else? Yeah. Kind of craving some fruit, so uh, first fruit stand we see, we're, uh, we're hitting it up. Feeling some papaya or some mango or some, maybe some pineapple or something, something exotic maybe. Maybe some dragon fruit, even though it's overrated. Most overrated fruit in the world, dragon fruit. You take a look at it, it looks like an alien species, like an alien egg. And then you eat it and it tastes like nothing and it has seeds in it. Red bananas. Wow. Some of the trees here, man, I tell you, they're, they're interesting. Buenas, senor. Buenas. So there's a lot of uh, people you'll see wearing like, they're wearing like green outfits and, um, or, or like orange, fluorescent orange. And they clean up the streets, they clean up all the garbage here, and uh, you can tell, like, you know, the streets are really clean, for the most part, like, and they do a really good job, so uh, big respect to those people who, who do that. Hold on, son. Let's try some, let's try some fruit here. Hola. Frutas? Yeah, see. Sí. Um, is this uh, pi piña? Piña. Piña? Uno piña? Sí. No es de Estados Unidos. Sí. Gringo. Yeah, gringo, gringo. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Uh, ¿Dónde? Uh, yo soy, yo soy uh, de Canadá. Ah, de Canadá. Yeah, yeah. Toronto. De Toronto. Yeah, yeah, de Toronto. De Toronto, Winnipeg. Yo, vea, mío. Pero que vea, estoy despachando este año. Um... Is this a mango? Mango, mango. Mango. Uh, 
And papaya? Uh, no, it's a chantaluru. Chantaluru? Which one's that? Si. Uh, is it buenos? Buenos? Si. Bueno? Okay, uno, uno, yeah. Uno, eh. Never tried this one before. Okay, okay. quanto? Uh, 5.500. 5? Okay. Gracias, amigo. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. You have a... You have a fork? Fork? Ah, gracias, amigo. Buen día. Bueno, no, gracias. Thank you. All right, we got ourselves some piña, which is pineapple, and I don't know the other fruit, but we're gonna try it. Like, I have no clue. I said papaya, and he said something else, so. Hmm. It looks interesting. It almost looks, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, I'll give it a shot. All right, so I'm gonna go find that spot that I saw where I could see the city. And we're gonna go sit over there and have some fruit. Fruit dust. I think that's how they say it, fruit dust. My Spanish is pretty bad, as you guys can tell. <laughs> I got this view. It's muy bonito, huh? Nice, huh? Let's see if there's somewhere where we can sit down and eat this fruit. Is this open? No. El barrio es nuestro. Seems like a pretty good spot to sit down and try some of this fruit. All right. Man, the fruit here, it's on another level. You know, the problem with the fruit in North America, well, at least where I come from, Canada, is uh, it doesn't, it doesn't get, it doesn't ripen enough. It, um, it's, it doesn't stay on the tree long enough. They, they bring it over like a lot of the fruits green and unripened because, you know, it has to transport, they have to ship it over. So, like it even just smells better here. Fragrant. Okay, let's try it out. Oh my God. Next level. I don't know if you guys can see up there, but that's actually the, uh, that's the cable car. And it runs all the way down. You can see it even over there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. It's pretty, it's a pretty wide angle. So with this lens, but uh, yeah, it goes all the way up, and you can you can actually take it all the way to the top there. So I think I might do that one of these days that I'm here. I'm only here for like a week, so I gotta make all the days count, you know. <laughs> There's something about uh, elderly people and like their dogs, you know. Just like, it's just cute, I don't know, I don't get, I don't know. I can't explain it, okay? Didn't even notice that, that tree with all the orange on it. Look at it. It's beautiful. What a beautiful little spot. On to the next item. Okay, so let's open this up. Not gonna lie, I don't think I'm eating this. 
as you guys can see, there's actual mold in here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but that's like uh, legitimate spores of mold growing in here. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it, and it really smells like I was gagged. <laughs> But the pineapple was good, so there's that. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, let's walk. Let's take a walk down the track here. So the metro system here is amazing. I love it. Super simple, easy to use, uh, clean. There's there's police. There's security everywhere. It's uh, super safe. There's some water over here. I'm gonna check it out. Whoa. Look at this. It's actually uh, like a raging stream over here. It's pretty cool. Man, it's just so beautiful here. Everywhere you look. See? This guy's got the right idea. He doesn't even look out of breath. I was dying. There goes the train, metro. And the bamboo, man. Wow. Hola, buenas. Apparently, uh, bamboo is like one of the fastest growing trees. I don't know if it's a, it counts as a tree or a plant, but uh, yeah, apparently it grows super fast. Massive. All right, guys, I, I, I have to climb over. I have to walk on top of this. I can't not. Oh, yeah, here we go. I was a little worried because it rains a lot here. I was worried it was going to be slippery, but it's, uh, it's not slippery, so not yet, at least. <laughs> Wow, look at this mural. That's not creepy at all. I think I have to go that way, but we're definitely gonna check this bridge out. Guy uh, collecting some things in the water there. It's like a jungle stream in the middle of the city, it's crazy. Let's, uh, let's go back to the tracks and let's walk down them, all the way down to the bottom. Because uh, if I remember correctly, walking down the tracks here leads to a, a Sancocho restaurant. All right, we're doing left hand here. I don't usually do it with my left hand, but the view is that way, so here comes the train.
part of me wants to go down there, but uh, as you can see, guys, it's It's like, when, uh as you can see, it's um, probably not an easy climb. I don't even know if I could jump up and reach this uh, down here. So, wow. Uh, this is confusing. <laughs> the hell? When is... There is bras and underwear in these trees. Yeah, what's up with this? Why are there bras in this tree? Is this where everybody goes to throw away their old bras? <laughs> the bra tree? Alright, so we're gonna keep walking. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. And if I'm not, then whatever. It makes for a good story, right? Wow. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those guys. Check this out, guys. I'm not gonna walk in here because it actually like smells like urine. I think there's like pipes here that are leaking um, sewage or something, but uh, either way, it's beautiful. Look at this beautiful mosaic. It's a mosaic, guys. It's beautiful. Look at look at the uh, the uh, the mirror for the glass. They actually use the car mirror, like or uh, they actually use the mirror for the glass windshield of the car in this mural. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. And you can see the different shapes of rock, of stone, on the legs of the woman here. It's circles. And then everywhere else, it's, it's just different pieces uh, that they've cut and shaped together. It's not a Soviet mural. It's not a Soviet mural. Oh, look at the doggy. Hey, perro. Oh. Is, that, is, that, is that Lassie? Just realized that, um, just remembered that I need to check out of my Airbnb, so um, we should uh, try to find some food. Buenas. We should try to find some food and um, quickly near the, near the place and then let's, uh, let's head out to the next one. I'm staying in a hostel after this for a couple days and then I'm doing another Airbnb. I like to mix it up because uh, you don't want to do just just hostels and just air and, and or just Airbnbs because just if you do just Airbnbs, it, it does get a little bit lonely sometimes. Um, and it's nice to have that social aspect where you can actually like meet people and with similar interests. Um, so yeah, it's good to mix them up. You know, you get a little bit of privacy with Airbnb and then uh, with the hostels, you can talk to people. So yeah. Oh, Guys, I'll translate that for you, okay? Buy my fruit. Alright, so I think I am going the right way now. Because this hill goes up and over and down. And then the place I want to eat at is down there. So, it's like a little restaurant I saw. There was a lot of people in there, so that's always a good sign. A lot of locals. So, uh, let's go check it out. As you guys can see, it's... Uh, Way busier now already. Hola, buenas. That was a long S at the end of that. I don't know if you guys heard that. Buenas. <laughs> not sure if that means something or not, but. Hola, buenas. Uh, is Sancocho? Yeah, okay. 
um, uno sancocho uh, y uno cerveza. ¿Cerveza? No, no? Oh, ok. Uno. Claro, limonada y guayaba. Ok. Gracias. We're having some sancocho and guachaba, whatever that is. Some kind of juice or something, probably. Oh, gracias. Gracias. Wow. So that looks uh, amazing. I think this is um, this is fish, actually. This is a pescado uh, sancocho. So, uh, yeah, it looks really good. An entire piece of plantain or plantano. Yo soy uh, de Canada. Canada. Canada, yeah. Yeah. Bienvenido a Colombia. Eh? Bienvenido a Colombia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me gusta Colombia. Hey. Yeah. Me gusta Sancocho. Alright, this looks amazing. We got pescado sancocho, so it's fish soup basically. We got, it looks like yuca, plantano, a nice big slab of fish. And there might be, I've heard that there's, oh there, there we go, there's some yucca. Sometimes there's potato and sometimes there's also like a whole like chunk of corn cob inside as well. So yeah, we got some rosa, which is rice, avocate, and some salad. Yeah, let's give this juice a try. It's pretty good. It's almost like a watered down kind of like a lemonade with like a hint of like a tea taste to it as well. With like lemon. It's pretty good. Uh, let's give this soup a shot here. It's not really overly fishy, you would think because there's fish in it, so it's like super fishy. It's really not at all. It's like almost like a it's like a chicken broth with like a hint of fish. That's what it tastes like. Oh, I just spilled it all over myself. They really fill it to the brim here, you know? So you gotta watch watch out. Don't wear white when you come here. <laughs> That fish is insane. Like super tender, super just flakes, you know. Let's try this. Uh, let's try this plantano. Chunk here. Mm. Wow, it's pretty good. And the yuca. Yuka. Hmm. It's amazing. Well, Yuka. Hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of sad that I'm moving to the other side of the city today. I probably won't come back here, but I'll definitely let you guys know what the place is called when I leave. And if you're ever in Medellin, definitely come there. Yes, fish. If you don't like fish, the fish is, is, is a bit fishy, but the broth isn't fishy. The broth is actually nice. It's like a, it's pretty subtle. If you've never had yuca, the way I describe it, it's like a potato, but much stickier um, and chewier almost, you know what I mean? Potatoes kind of like crumble apart, whereas the uh, yuca is like, it's like sticky almost, you know what I mean? Really uh, sticks to your kind of teeth, but it's good, it's, it's delicious.
Every time I have a new soup here, it's my new favorite soup. What's the next soup that's gonna be my favorite? Because <laughs> whatever it is, it's gonna be my favorite. So this place is right off of the metro. So it's really easy to get to. And uh, if you're here, definitely check it out. All right, so it actually has potato. It actually has potato and yuca. The potato was hidden underneath the broth, as you can see here. And more yuca underneath. Amazing. Delicious. Quanta? Yes, yes. Gracias. Get out of here. All right, if you want to see the restaurant, it's a uh, Restaurante El Aguacatero. Buenas. How are you? How are you?